Hi everyone, this is Rachel, your Academic Affairs GTA with Honors and Scholars. I wanted to put together a quick video just to go over the Honors Seminar scrapbook requirement. Um, it seems like there's a lot of anxiety about that, um, exactly what is required of you, what you need to get done. So I did want to address it and hopefully put you at ease. Um, so if you are a new student and you've generated your ePortfolio, you should have this Honors Seminars tab here. If you're a returning student um, and you need help building any part of this, please just let me know. I'm happy to help you. Um, but under here, we have these two already built in here, Honor Seminars Fall 2020, Spring 2021. Just as examples, because as a reminder, we're going to log our seminar completion each semester. I did just go in and add the 1794 Pillars um, post just to show uh, 1794 scholars exactly what they are required to do so that there's no confusion. Um, I'm going to start here with the honor seminars post. So you can see that it is already built out um, with three seminars uh, and just sort of test reflection for each of them. So as a reminder, you can reflect on seminars that you've attended. You can upload photos, video clips, audio clips, um, whatever you would like to do. Just go in here, include the name of the seminar that you intended and the date, um, and then whatever medium it is that you would like to use to show that you attended. Um, that is all that is required of you by the end of the semester, is to make sure that your honor seminars are logged. Um, as a reminder, they will be in reverse chronological order. So as time goes on, um, next semester we already have here, spring 2021, um, and then fall 2021, uh, et cetera. Um, 1794 scholars, you're going to log your pillar completion in very much the same way. Um, I, did, I did build this out just as an example. So instead of honor seminar uh, number one or whatever with the title, I just changed it to academic engagement. So this is just showing how you logged or how you're logging your academic engagement pillar. So you're just saying, I attended these three seminars. Um, and then very much like the other programs are doing, you're going to upload photos, video, um, some sort of medium to show that you attended these three seminars. Um, you don't have to do this. Again, you could uh, complete an honors designated course or you have other options, but this is just meant to be an example. So for academic engagement, you attended these three seminars. Um, global and cu cultural awareness, you completed an ASL course. Again, um, include some medium to show your completion same with campus engagement, if you were in a club or an intramural sport, um, something to show basically that you participated. Um, and it's going to be very much the exact same thing, 1794 Pillars Fall 2020. Uh, next semester, you'll create a new post, 1794 Pillars Spring 2021, um, and so on. So for all programs, that is really all that you need to get done in your ePortfolio as far as the honor seminar scrapbook is concerned. Um, that's it. I don't want you to stress about it. That's all you need to do. Um, if you're a 1794 scholar, you will have your semester reflection, but wait for more instruction on that. Um, but if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, you can email me. I am still having open office hours. I have a few left this month and we'll be adding some more in November as well. Um, so don't hesitate to stop by with a quick question or anything that you might need. Um, I'd love to help you. All right, thank you.